We're gonna go over how to do setup for the new DSLR booth app. This is for the setting up the template and the event details. So I created a document which shows step-by-step, step, so I'm literally just gonna go step-by-step step here. Um, but we're going to copy the design that we're gonna be using onto the desktop. So if you're using a USB, you would plug that in and navigate to that. Here, I just synced it in Dropbox, so I'm just gonna take that, put it on the desktop. Um, from this point, you wanna name it the attendance first name and then the date of the event so they know uh, which event is theirs. And then from there, you're gonna open up DSLR booth. And then you're going to up here, tap on new. So it's gonna be creating a new event. And then you're gonna put in the attendance name again, and then the date, and then copy settings from default is what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna go ahead and pretend we just did that. So from here, we're going to go into the settings and uh, change a couple things. First, we're gonna just start with the template. Templates up here and you're just gonna go import, navigate to the zip file on the desktop where you placed it. When you see these errors, just ignore them, hit open. And then from here, we're going to do a test print. Um, before we do a test print that we want to close out of this window, come into settings, go over to the printing, and you just want to go to configure. It, since this is a two by six strip, we wanna make sure that the printer is set up to cut two by six. So from here, we're going to see that is in fact the printer we have. We're gonna go preferences, advanced, down to two inch cut. It's on enabled, which is what we need, which is great. If you were doing four by six or five by seven, you would disable it. So we're gonna keep that where it's at. Um, so let's pretend we changed it, we hit OK, we hit OK again, we hit Apply, and then we hit Print. Printing doesn't actually print it in this scenario. So from here, we're going to hit the X. Now we have the template in there and the printer settings set, so we're just gonna do Print plus Copy. just want to check out your print see the margins are good here the margins look great and then you can X out of that so we're good there so now we are going to check and see what other things the clients getting so there's options as far as gifs boomerangs videos so to do that check that or update those settings. First, you're gonna look in the event. Um, you can look at the spreadsheet to figure out what they're getting. Even though a lot of our clients don't get GIFs for this software, we're always going to include it, even if they don't upgrade to it or it's not included in the package. So by doing that, you're gonna have these three options selected. And then only if they're getting boomerang or video will you enable that. So you don't need to worry about any of these other settings for the time being. So we've checked that, and let's just say that they're not getting the boomerangs or videos. And then we're going to, across the top here, go over to sharing. And then we're gonna check, are they getting email and text sharing? If they're getting emailing, you can keep it enabled. And then you wanna make sure that the email is appropriate as far as from, so this is, the default is posers. If it's party cam, you can go to party cam's email and then down under the texting, enable it or disable depending on whether or not they're getting that. All these settings are set up properly. If there's any custom messaging for texting or emails, you can see we can change the subject. Um, we will just change between the H2 tags for the text for the email 
and you see there is where you can customize for the texting. So we're gonna say that they got texting here, we're good to go. And then from here, we're going to close this. You wanna see that the camera is connected. If it's not, turn it on. In my case, it was turned on, so I'm turning it off and on again. And you see it recognized it. So we're just gonna do a quick test. We just do a print test. It's gonna go through the session. Here we're just making sure that the app is functioning properly and that comes out uh, afterwards the auto print and then I'll show you the other basic functionality from there. Uh, they can also choose color black and white. Next. So this will be full screen for the client. So this would look like this. Great, so prints are good. You can hit done to move on to the next thing. Um, also, just functionality wise, they can look at individual pictures if they want. And then they can look at the print as well. If they want to look at that print, they can then select to uh, print it again, email it, or whatever they needed to do.